everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a Bod's Day's video, as you can tell by the title. I'm joining my sister Sophie sister and Sophie. McDonald's because if you weren't aware, the McDonald's Christmas menu is now out. And whilst this video is being posted, it is the month of Christmas. So we thought we would sit down, do a little mukbang, and eat and try their new Christmas menu. I'm kind of annoyed the Big Tasty isn't back, but I've gone with the double Big Mac instead and what did you get you got the jerk jerk chicken, chicken thing but without the jerk sauce. but without the jerk sauce <laughs> so kind of defeats the purpose sandwich. but yeah if you do enjoy this video as always please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up down below subscribe if you haven't already and without further ado let's just get on with the video i'm Whoa. kind of scared to see how big this is oh my god i forgot it has gherkins in as well mm. so i can just give them to you oh, who likes gherkins? Because I really don't. So if he loves it's them. It's like a, you either love it or hate it. Yeah. I love gherkins. I'll eat them out of someone's burger. Hate them. Too uh, Give it to them bad boys. Mm. To be fair, this burger doesn't look as big as I thought it was going to look. Like, I feel like on the picture, it oh, looks so much bigger than that. We were saying that we wish how they had the, um, what was it, the honeycomb, like, ice lattes. Because mm. they're so nice. I don't know if they are a... Christmas thing. I don't think so. Someone said, when is too early to put your Christmas decorations up? Anytime before December the 1st, I think. Really? Yeah. Mm. I put mine up sometimes in November. I would say anytime between before the last two weeks of November is too early. Because I just think, it, once you start to drag it out a little bit, I feel like you lose the Christmas spirit a bit. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Well, I just think it's a December thing. First of December, mm. your tree goes up. So, I think it's too early before. Like, we've got our downstairs Christmas tree up already. And my bedroom Christmas tree is up. I swear we didn't get that many No, we didn't. Time. So, we've got eight. Yeah, we definitely didn't get that last time. I know. I Well, I put out six for me. Yeah. Like, Yours looks like there's more. One as well. Mm. Right, I'm gonna try and attempt to take a bite out of this burger. That is actually massive. I don't think it's as big as what it looks like on the picture though. No. Like, I feel like on the picture it looks like a big tasty. Right, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. That was one hefty bite. I did it, but if you look at my bite, <laughs> the bottom, I took out loads, the top, I took out a tiny bit. Mm. It is nice though. I like dread to think how many calories in this. Oh god, yeah. See, I do like Big Macs, but it's not something I get. This is nice. Oh, I've got a little nook on my chin. I'm probably going to get like, flower. Like, I feel like this is really flowery. Oh, someone said, who do you think you've bought best for this year? I'm trying to think. Well, I'll spend the most on you, probably. Mm -hmm. I'd probably say my boyfriend. Yeah, and it's a new person. Yeah, to buy new for. person by far. You've probably gone a bit more like crazy. Yeah. Um, but then I always enjoy doing my Secret Santa present. Yeah, true actually. Secret Santa, I feel like I've done mm. quite well with. I feel like maybe everyone. Yeah. Like I've because I've like got things that they're gonna like. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's, it's not the case of oh I've got something and I'm like oh I don't know if they're gonna like it. Like I know. Well, I mean I've guessed with most of yours. Mm. Um, somebody said, how do you feel about no Christmas markets this year? I'm quite sad about it, because mm. I like to go to them from like Vlogmas and things like that. And it's just a fun thing to do with friends and like oh, family. Right. That is quite sad. Around this time last year we went to Milan. Mm. But in saying that, we even missed that. We missed that Christmas market yeah, when we were but there. Uh, we haven't had one in two years. No, we have. We went to Dad's in Lincoln. Mm. That's true actually. But it's just something to do, because like, there's not a lot you can do in December. Like, And now we've not even got Christmas markets. Oh, it's a thing as well. Like, Christmas, you spend time with your family, but we're restricted to doing that at the minute. Mm. So I think Christmas this year feels very different. I think as well, Christmas this year will feel uh, like different and maybe like a bit more like empty for some people that have lost family members because of COVID. Like, I feel like this Christmas is going to be like a weird one, sort of for everyone in like loads of different senses. It is just a weird year. I'm very weird. Not that I even buy anything at Christmas markets, to be fair. No, neither. I mainly just go for like, the food. Mm. Somebody said, would you ever spend Christmas in another country? If so, where? I think I would, say if it was with family. Mm. I feel like it would be a bit weird. 
not with family, but I'd want to do it in a cold place, like where there's snow and like, like I'd love to see like the Northern Lights somewhere around Christmas time. Mm. Like I'd want to go somewhere where there's snow and it's cold. See, I think I'd quite like to go to um, Australia. But then they have like barbecues on Christmas day, which I just, I don't know. It just doesn't, mm. that, well, it wouldn't feel like Christmas. I want to stay in like an igloo and stuff. Mmm, that would be fun. That would be fun. Sorry guys, I'm having to eat my burgers apart because mm -hmm. it's just slipping out of each other. I'm not going to have it with the bread. Yeah, but it's a bit sloppy to like juggle. Well, not juggle, but yeah. do you know what I mean? Someone said, what's your favourite Christmas song? I've got a few. See, I've got a new one this year that I like, mm -hmm. which is... The Joe Jonas one. Oh no, I like that one as well. Yeah. Okay, well I like the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. Just one. Feels like Christmas. But then I also like, it's called River. So it's not a stereotypical like... Christmas song. I don't know who it's by, but it's that. It's coming on Christmas. They're cutting down trees. Mm, oh, the guy looking right at looking me. Looking at me. Why is he there? Uh, so so I think this year they're my favourite songs yeah. and the like new songs. But then the classic. I like. Do they know it's Christmas? Yeah, Band Aid. The though. 2014 one. I don't know what other ones. I think that that's my favourite. I think Band Aid 30 is one of them that's up there. I like One More Sleep by Leona Lewis. I really can't think of the top of my head. Like a song I'll be playing on, be like, oh my god, this is my favourite Christmas song. I like them all. Like there's not really yeah, I wouldn't any Christmas any songs thing. that I do like. I don't really know. That's not what yours are. Well, I like the John Lewis songs. Yeah, and the adverts, even though they're not like Christmas songs. Yeah, they are good. I like listening to them. I said there really is one that I'm trying to think of, but I can't think what it is. I wish it could be Christmas. No. Jingle Bell Rock? No. <laughs> Santa tell me? No. That was it. Maybe it's cold outside. That is my favourite Christmas song. Mm, I like that one. The, the Michael Adina. Bublé version though. The Michael Bublé. I can't believe that Santa tell me had originally a different verse. Because she used to say, like it was a bit more sexual was the song, but then she changed it How to be a bit know? more PG. It's on TikTok. Wow, what did it used to say? Um, so it goes, Oh, I want to have him beside me like a love. But the original act... Sorry, I just burped. Just... <laughs> that was really a weird burp. <laughs> but then the original was, Oh, I want to let him unwrap me like a uh, sit on top of him by the fireplace. Oh. But it changed. I can't believe it changed. Like, I feel like it's maybe because Ariana, when she brought out that song, was a little bit younger. And I think her audience then was maybe a little bit younger. It's a bit weird associating associating sex with Santa Claus. But a lot of Christmas songs are like sexual, like San, um, Santa Baby. Oh, true. Um, and Santa Tell Me is like more Sorry, about... Sorry, pardon me. Sorry. I can't stop burping. I think I'm eating too fast. But Santa Tell Me is more about... Her asking Santa if the boy that she's with is actually going to be there like again next year. Oh, last Christmas. I like that one. Mm. Oh, they're just all good, aren't they? Mm, yeah. It's like Nativity, all the Nativity mm. movies with the songs. I like yeah. Them. Had a little makeover oh, and a ball dressed up tonight. Someone said, favourite Christmas tradition. Someone asked me this on Instagram. And I think the only one I can think of is the matching PJs. Yeah, and then I quite like us going down to the Christmas day on the morning. I used to hate it. Yeah, I find that boring. I just think it's so nice you get to see like so many more people. It's freezing. Everyone's in like the Christmas spirit. No makeup on. Look but yeah. like crap. Which as Morgan said about the Chris Dingle. But then I've missed that two years, I think, before. Mm. One was because of work and another was uh, like I didn't want to go. And like that is quite fun. Mm. A few years I haven't gone, like I don't think it's Again though, that used to be one that we used to hate going to. Mm. But I do like it now. Like I think it's I don't quite mind fun. it. I do enjoy it, but I do think it's just the same every year. Mm. It's like we go to church Christmas Eve is what it is. They sing songs and stuff. But it's just something to do, I guess, on Christmas Eve. Yeah, nice to see, like, I'd say family. that matching PJs is my favourite. Mm. We'd always go to, like, a family friend's Christmas Eve as well. Like, we always go to Jez and Paul's. Mm. Obviously, we don't think we'll be able to do that this year. But someone said, do you dress up on Christmas Day or is it a PJs all day kind of vibe? If we were staying at home... If I could, I would do PJs all day. I'd be PJs all day. But... We normally go from like house to house and go to like different houses for different things. So it is a case of we like we'll spend the up. morning at home. Mm. So we'll be in PJs, but then mm. we'll probably get ready. I don't. I wouldn't say like dress up though. No. For Christmas. It's just like normal clothes and maybe like a nice top. Like, yeah, like if, if we get like a new got... car top for Christmas, we'll mm. probably wear that. Now I do think, why do we not just go in our PJs? Because mm. we do just stay in the house in like. Yeah, family. but then I guess it's like the like we do want to look nice, like pictures. Like I think because we're a bit older, mm. like yeah, yeah well, it's like Lola will get in like a Christmas dress or something. Yeah, 
So it's just like we just get ready for a normal day. Yeah, pretty much. Like I won't be like dressing heels. Oh no, definitely not. Save up the boxing day. Hell yeah. Oh. Not right. I'm acting as if like we're gonna have this massive boxing day plans. Someone said favourite part of Christmas Day. I would say my favourite part would be the Christmas dinner. Uh, and watching people open the presents that I've got them. Hmm. I love watching them. I'll probably say the morning of Christmas. Mm. Like that's when obviously like we're at home, Lola's opening her presents from Santa. Mm. Yeah. Everyone's opening the presents. Yeah, I like watching the presents opening. I know people hate people watching them open presents. But yeah, I feel a bit like that. Like, I hate it when I just know everyone's just watching me. Because mm. it's like, oh my god. When we go to Marion's, everyone's sort of opening at the same time. Mm. Like, we'll be open at the same time. Lola and Luna will be opening at the same time. That's another tradition. We always have a family sleepover. Well, not family, sister. just us sister sleepover. Yeah, so we do that every year. Every year we do that. Someone said, What have you asked for for Christmas this year? I actually haven't really asked for anything. Honestly, like, we it gets harder do. and harder every single year for us to think of something that we want. Mm. And I don't like asking, like I'd rather surprise like when it's my family. But this year everyone has struggled for each other. Really struggled. Get. And that's I mean, normally every year like there'll be like a pair of trainers that I'm wanting. Or, like one year I asked for two pairs, like I wanted either or and I got both, so mm. nice. Normally, yeah, like there's something specific that I'll be asking for or like want. Like we used to like want a, a new phone, so we'd got one. Obviously, yeah. as we've got older, it's more harder because we get most of our own stuff, like our yeah. phones, our cameras. Like, like if we have the money, we'll just get it ourselves. So yeah, it's like, what what else now can I get jazz? Yeah, no, I've really struggled this year. Normally, I'm all right, and I can sort of think of ideas and stuff. But just over this year, I'm literally stuck. Like, if you want to get me a new phone, like that's obviously fine. Obviously, it would be fine <laughs> if I was a millionaire. Like that would be the, probably the only thing I would be like, I definitely want that. Like, yeah, but then, yeah, phone. it's, it's so we're expensive. at the age now as well, like, where we can just buy our own things now. So if we really need it, we just buy it ourselves. Obviously, we're going to be happy with whatever we get and we're not expecting yeah, I mean, I'd not a lot ask. anyway. And like you just said, I'd rather it be like a surprise sort of thing. Like, so and it's a nice surprise that I don't know what I'm getting. Because yeah. I, I don't like when people know every single Christmas mm. present that they're getting. We never I mean, that just normally. ruins the whole idea of Christmas. Christmas. Like we never would ask for yeah. things because then people are like, oh, well, surely you'll have an idea of what you're getting because you'll have asked for it. And I'm like, no, we don't normally ask. We'll yeah. just see what Literally, we get. Sort of thing. Like, I know people and they'll be like, yeah, I'm getting this, 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 and this. And I'm like, well, what's the point in wrapping it mm. up then? How do you know all these? What's the point in, like, what is the point in doing Imagine Christmas? they didn't get it all, though. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so we are very much more like, surprise us, just get us whatever. We're like, hard to buy for yeah. us, so. Especially as well, because we do get sent, like, the makeup and mm. the hair stuff. It's very hard for our family and friends to think about things for us. Like, trying to get through the Serpent Guy Christmas boxes from previous mm. years. We got, like, still got some, year. yeah. Like, massive things of Serpent Glory sets. Literally. We but I think that should probably come conclude the video because i don't want this video to be too long so i really hope you guys did enjoy it if you did as always please remember to get a huge thumbs up down below also i am doing weekly vlogmas so vlogmas will be posted every wednesday on my main channel this year so keep an eye out for that if you are interested in vlogmas if you want to see daily vlogmas you can go back to my vlog channel and i have previous years where I did vlogmas properly if you do want to watch them I just feel like this year just really isn't the year to do right daily enough. vlogs like I'm not going to be able to do anything because we're in like lockdown we're not in lockdown or whatever is happening whatever Boris but yeah like I said that is everything and I will see you very very soon with another video bye mm.